everybody and welcome today's is a get ready with me it's pretty much a full face almost if not fully of timu makeup now i did do a huge timu beauty haul and i told you guys i'd be back to play with everything we are back we are ready to go i'm super excited about it so if you're new here hello welcome my name is rhonda and over here we're embracing the hot mess in this judgment free drama free stress free zone where it's going to be a chatty video so might as well coffee strong up get a tea whatever it may be and a buckle up buttercup because we got all kinds of goodies to play with today so if you are new to my channel first and foremost thank you guys so much for stopping by stick around we'd love to have you huge shout out and thank you to our youtube members you don't have to help support the channel but you choose to and i appreciate you all check me out on my other channels hot miss mama vlogs where i do curvy girl fashion hauls as well as hot miss in the kitchen where i cook not so much here lately so i haven't been very consistent but i'm doing my best okay i'm doing my best that's all you can ask for all right so so far i'm face I do have my skincare but I also for my sunscreen have been using the Aborium CC Red Correct uh, this is a SPF 25 and it's a soothing even correct or whatever I don't know I got this through Octoly and I flip and love it I use it every day and it does kind of help reduce some of the redness on my face so I love that now some of the things I wanted to try out from Timu which by the way I will just copy and paste Everything that I hauled in that video as well as that video, I will have it down in my description box for y'all with the prices and everything. As far as the prices go, I could easily tell you the price of everything, but it really wouldn't matter because there's always coupons floating around. So they'll just be the original price in my description box for you all. But I did want to play around with this viral lip plumper that um, we've seen all over TikTok. And this is what it looks like. Now... Unfortunately, there's a sticker on the back and it actually really wouldn't matter because I don't know how to read it. But this is a lip plumper and I thought it would be fun to try out that. I also got the viral eyebrow thingies, so we're going to play around with that. But I always like to put on a lip plumper while I'm doing the rest of my face and everything. I'm not for sure which is which. I assume maybe this one is the plumper. I don't know. If not, I'll just take it off and try again. And then I guess this is like the old. Neither is real minty, like tingly feeling or anything like that. It's nice and moisturizing. Doesn't taste funny. For primer, I did not pick up a primer, but I am going to just use my little one size primer. I like to just use a little pea size amount in my T-zone. And it really helps with my large pores, in my opinion. And I do put some down here. Not right here, because right there gets a little like crusty from my... My retinols and whatnot they get this really cool uh korean type of foundation this is the moisture cushion cc silky and smooth air cushion cream so that's what the box looks like that's what the container looks like and then it did come with like this little sponge thing after opening tear off the seal use the small little mushroom um, puff to gently press the appropriate amount apply makeup sequence from top to bottom okay the little sponge it feels like a little like a beauty sponge but a little bit more dense as far as color I did get zero to natural there's someone here I feel like I should just probably making people cringe it's fine so this is what it looks like and then you just it's kind of bouncy it says top and I'm down here so, oh wow okay so it's a CC cream so I'm assuming the coverage isn't gonna be super full I like how it like dots up there it literally like blends right into my skin it's got like a clean scent to it. Um, this is actually pretty. So I'm just doing half my face to show you all. Around my eye area, I like a little bit softer. So I'm going to just go in my beauty sponge. So you can see it's a lightweight type of coverage. It feels nice. That's actually pretty. I did pick up another foundation product too. Okay, honestly, I would be totally fine applying this to my skin and maybe like some cream products and call it a day all right as far as my lips goes they just feel really hydrated right now i don't know if they look any types of like fuller i am gonna switch and see if i needed to do the gold side so let me remove this and then i'll do this one and see if this one maybe is the plumper of the two just real hydrating feeling that definitely feels like it absorbed into my lips more so maybe that was the plumper i don't know so any excess 
that I maybe didn't blend in well, I am gonna pick up with my beauty sponge. I mean, that just looks, it, I just feel like it evened out my skin really well. I like that. And it's really lightweight on the skin. So let me go in next with this foundation. So this is called Foia, Fo Foia? I don't know. And it has a little pump on it. Uh, I got concealer too and I'm pretty sure it's too light. That might not work, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. As far as the shade that I got, I did pick up 103 Warm Peach, as if I'm not a cool tone neutral person, but whatever. All right, so this one is the Bling Brush PK Brush uh, F Foundation for Two. This is the Paige Curran Extended Edition collaboration with Bling. If you use code Hot Mess, you'll save yourself 10% over there. This foundation. This is nice. Foundation's playing really well with the one size primer too. Coverage wise seems good. And actually I feel like the coloring isn't too, too bad. This is really pretty on my skin. So any excess, once again, I'm gonna pick up with my beauty sponge which they sell beauty sponges as well. I saw my girl Jotty picked up like an avocado filled or avocado color sponge collection for a couple bucks so i definitely want to check it out but the coverage of this foundation seems really nice it doesn't seem to be like sinking in too much into my crow's feet i mean is that gonna happen yeah because you know i have skin and i don't use filters so let me zoom you guys in I think this looks really pretty on my skin and I didn't put any type of like normally I do either the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter or I use my rose gold cream from Saint and put that down um this is just my skin that's kind of seeping through a little bit and this just has a really pretty radiance to it. So as far as concealer, obviously this is a pretty light concealer, but we're going to try it anyways. I did go with, uh, it, this is a concealer, Soft Touch Natural Concealer by Il, Ilho. Kind of reminds me a lot of the, is it Maybelline? I don't know what shade I got on here. Me, I'm not going to do too much. Also me, piled it on. I feel like warming it up with my finger is gonna be the safest bet okay I'm gonna pick up any excess it's not a very like full coverage concealer it's definitely lightweight but it's pretty under there it's not very like thick not like accentuating or anything I'm gonna do a little down through here that's actually pretty I don't know if you guys can see underneath the eyes I haven't set it yet that is not bad and that's even with layering uh oh what I do with the lid here we go something smells nice I think it's still that CC cream I don't think this is what I'm maybe a soft like baby powder scent y'all look at my skin this looks really pretty I was not expecting like to like three products so far okay so next in here I did get a contour and or a bronzer one of the two it's in 03 dark skin it may be a little too deep but it reminded me so much of my Fenty I mean it's a lot smaller but I was like as soon as I opened that little component I was like oh my gosh look at that reminds me of the the Fenty size um blushers so anyways let's go ahead and try some of this so I'm gonna go in with like this contour I'm gonna dab it just to kind of like slightly warm it up a little bit give it a little friction this is part of the ice queen collection f55 and I'm gonna just ooh, this is definitely like a contour I like the color and it blends out nicely so cool this is a really good little bronzer contour or contour um I think if I got a lighter shade we could probably get away with it being a bronzer I like this formula I like this a lot so like I said this is 03 and let's see here I did get a bunch of different powders to try out so I thought these were so pretty I did get two different shades um they're called the Mac Andy and it's a loose powder really pretty box and so I got 012 and 020 so this is what the backs of them look like so I thought one under my eyes and then one for my face so let's do the under eyes because I am getting crease creasing which is normal it does come with a little poof put some oh it comes out nice and easily See, normally I do a wet sponge, but let's just try it with the poof. I'm going to start down low and then work my way up. So the most of my powder is going to be down lower and then it 
will look less creepy. That's pretty. Hold on, I got another pink one too. So we'll do two different sides. Okay, so this one is Giac Giacomo, Giac Giacomo, maybe? I don't know. So I did get it in Calm Makeup Loose Powder 04. So that's what it looks like. So we'll do the other side in this, which is definitely see, much, much pinker. Okay, so comes with a little doohickey as well. It looks like an eyeshadow. It's definitely a pinker. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick up any excess with my sponge. It's really pink. Okay, I can't, I can't commit. I, yeah, cause that just totally discolored. Okay, that's a no for my skin tone. I think maybe if you have deeper skin tone, it'll work better for you, but that, that one does not work. So, ooh, that was like blush. That was literally like blush for me. Where's my little mushroom? Okay, I'm gonna go over it with the mushroom and we're gonna go back into this powder. It has a funny smell, not like a stinky smell, more of like, um, you know when like your kids make slime at home? That's what the smell reminds me of. All right, nothing like atrocious. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face and then I wanna go back over with that contour. So let's go ahead and set with the other, the other one. This is so pretty. It's such a finely milled powder. Look how it literally like takes my pores away. Okay, you're right up there with my one size. Okay, this powder is a freaky yeah, man. Freaky yeah. We need this. Everybody needs this. Literally, maybe five or six bucks. Comes with a little powder poof, which I like this. Um, it literally just took all of my pores away. Magical powder right here. 10 out of 10. By the way, my lips, they're, they're not stinging. They're not burning. I don't know if they're doing anything. So this is amazing. And I like the pink underneath my eyes as well. Like they don't look crusty, dusty, or nothing under there. Like I always have large pores. So uh, mixing that powder, the foundation and everything is working perfect with that one size. I mean, that is, okay. So let me go back in with a little bit of the bronzer contour stuff. See if I can kind of bronze up a little bit. It's probably staying too cool toned, yeah. But at least we know it works over powder. Okay, so for blush, I did pick up this peach blush situation. I just thought this was super, super cute. Reminded me of Too Faced. And again, it was like five or six bucks. I mean, there's no peach scent, but to me, I smell like a little bit of a baby powder scent, which doesn't bother me any. So let's go ahead and apply some of this. I'm gonna just start with the first two. It's definitely pigmented. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, let's let's try this brow thing. So, the way the brow thing works is it comes with like these little stencils, and then you like powder it all up in there. I don't know. So we're gonna we're gonna try it. I saw this go viral over on TikTok. Uh, there, my brows need a prayer, hope and a prayer, um, because their whole situation between anxiety life and 90s yeah they're a whole mess so it comes with all these like stencils to try and then I also did get a pencil and then in this little package you get the two spoolies you get the stencils and then you get this where you go and you powder it on the stencil that is my brow <laughs> This could go really one of two ways. I don't know. Let's try it. Ooh, th this one has a good arch on it. Let's maybe do that one. I don't know. Because, I mean, I have a natural arch there. It's just makeup. It washes off, right? So, as far as the shade that I did get, I think this was medium brown, maybe, that I picked out. Or light medium. Okay, they're not symmetrical for nothing. But, oh well. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And then you just stencil them on. Oh, I moved. 
whoa that's not that bad okay let me wipe it off that's literally not that bad I, the color's a little bad but i'm a little surprised here okay let's see i don't i don't think i got as much out that time um so I got a bunch out on this side, but not as much on this side. So I don't know what's up with that. I like it though. It actually is better than I expected, but that's okay because I've got the brow pencil that we can try out. <laughs> oh God. The color is not good for me though. I definitely need a different color. Okay, so here's the pencil um, and it's in four, zero four. Oh, I like this kind. So it's got like that little triangle type of applicator. So let's see if we can fix these brows. It's kind of a heavier wax product, but it was like, I think $2. I like the color much better. It's a stiffer type of um, wax. Oh my God, my brows look like horrendous. Let me try and take this powder off. I don't like the powder. The The color of the powder is really not good on me. Okay, so I wonder if I take the pencil and the stencil and try it that way. Let me just pencil my brows on like I typically would. Oh my God, I look like I have caterpillar. Okay, I'm gonna try and save them a little bit. Let's go back in with some of this foundation and try and clean them up because I don't think my, my body has ever produced brows like this. Let's try and soften them. I don't, I think too it'll look better once I have my eye makeup maybe. Because right now it's like quick brows. Let's go ahead and ignore the brows because I've got, they're definitely distant relatives maybe um, from different generations, centuries potentially. I did get this palette I thought was really cute. This is what it looks like on the inside. So let's play with some of these colors. Let's go back into the concealer. Use that as our base. And then let's go in. Let's go with this color first on the eyes. I'm going to just use my blinged brushes from the Ice Queen collection. Uh, this is E5. And I'm just gonna tap it right on. So pretty. And can we just note underneath my eyes still looks so nice and pretty. I really love this powder, y'all. Like this powder is gorgeous. So is the, the foundation and the CC cream and the concealer. Like I'm really surprised at how affordable, inexpensive, and great these products are then just to soften it up just a smidge i'm going to jump into this vanilla tone shade and just put it up by my brow and just kind of tie up that's my uh cheat way of blending and softening things up next i'm going to jump into this deeper shade and put that in the outer v there's actually a mirror in here too i don't know why i'm not using that yet. it's not a really crazy deep shade it matches my shirt and it's blending out nicely too. I kind of want to incorporate this yellow in here somehow. Not for sure how. Let's just put it on the lid. I like this green too. I'm using this yellow shade. It is so pretty. And somehow I want to get this green in there too. Maybe I'll just put it next to it. Because this green is such a pretty green. So I'm going to just tap a little bit of that in the center. No, I went a, li a little underneath. So there's a pressed glitter in here, and you know I love glitter. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and put that on there. So it's kind of a chunky, you know, pressed glitter. So I'm just going to lightly tap it on there. It's like it's got built-in glue, so it's not like falling. I'm just going to tap a little on. That is so pretty. The shifty shade we love 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 okay super pretty okay i am gonna hop off i'm gonna 
work on the brows a little bit because they were way too red uh, for my liking. And I'm going to do lashes, uh, lips, and mascara. I'll be right back. So I've got my lashes on. <laughs> I did my best when it came to fixing the brows. So um, I just, I like the pencil. I do like the pencil, but the what I will say is the color is too warm for what I like. It's a how do I describe it? It reminds me a lot of Elf's original brow pencil that's maybe like three or four dollars. That's what it reminds me of as far as the texture, the feel, and everything. I like it. Um, I will definitely go back and pick out a different shade as far as that goes. So this little brow thing, I was like, why does it have like that sound? Okay, so here's the deal, guys. So you remember how when I was doing it, I ran out of the brow color? Uh, or the powder well the brow powder is in here so you twist it in here you tie up okay and then the brow powder gets on there and then you use the stencil and you st stencil it in and then when you run out you boom you do the same thing so same concept uh, concept wise I like it I love it and I would definitely use it if it was my shade so I, I'm gonna go back and see if I can find more of a cool tone type of brow shade I mean I think I cleaned them up the best that I possibly could um, as far as that went but I did go ahead and line my lips with the nude lip liner from Gerard Cosmetics and I I thought why not use this clear gloss and make my own little lip color so I'm gonna just apply it over top let it sink in as far as the lip thing goes if it plumped and was hydrated it was definitely hydrating but if it plumped um it wasn't a plump that hurt so for a couple bucks it was like I think like two or three bucks so as far as this goes I'm gonna just mix these two shades and then tap on our lip and that's going to be my lipstick because I think it's really pretty and I really like the colors so you know you guys know I love to like just mix things together and play around so let's go ahead and talk about everything you guys I am so blown away from this these products these like foundation complexion products they're amazing, okay? Don't even get me started on how amazing these are, okay? Um, you all know how much I love this one size powder because it takes my large pores away. But you guys, this is doing the same thing. Under my eyes looks so good. I am so excited. So um, these powders, off the top of my head, I want it for some reason like $5.96 is sticking in my head or six or seven ninety six. Either way, really affordable powder that looks beautiful on the skin. Uh, for reference, I do have normal to dry skin. And this is nothing is making my skin look dry whatsoever. I love the way everything looked. So I loved the, the CC Silky Smooth Air Cushion Cream. I really like that. I felt like it was a really good base for my skin to help even more with the redness and evening everything out. Then going in with this Foyera, however you say it, foundation, once again is in 103 Warm Peach. I, I think it actually matches way better than I was expecting and it just looks beautiful. It was buildable and everything. I was shocked by the concealer. It's not my favorite concealer, however, it definitely did the job. It's definitely more, in my opinion, of a serum type of concealer. And this was also buildable as we saw. So I would definitely suggest applying it patting it out and pushing it into your fine lines and then if you want to build more up you could do that and definitely going in with a beauty sponge taking out you know any excess i'm very excited <laughs> this is nice affordable makeup i mean this little lip or no it's not a lip this blush five pan blush this is beautiful and you saw we just made it into lipstick and I really like it. I love the shades. The shades are beautiful. If you are into more pinky tones, they do have that as well. Um, but I just, I love more of the warm, like orangey shades. This was a very pretty eyeshadow palette. Uh, I think everything has performed great. I would have liked a deeper tone to the, you know, for my outer 
be and everything but I think overall it performed really nice and I love the fact that I was able to go in to the shades that had like the little pressed you know decor in there and they didn't like dust away or anything so it's like pressed down in there nice and deep so I don't know y'all this this was a really exciting video for me I, I'll be honest my expectation was especially when it came to the complexion products i was like yeah all right i'm not gonna like it whatever so far absolutely amazing no eye irritation no skin irritation and the way that my eyes are i will notice right away if there's an eyeshadow that does not work for me or or what have you hold on i guess i can take this out already since we're talking um but as far as the eyeshadow goes, I've used a lot of the T Timu eyeshadow palettes with absolutely no issues at all. I have a lot of Is It A Duper Just A Waste Of Money with probably off the top of my head three or four of the Timu uh, eyeshadow palettes. Not one issue. Longevity has been there and everything. And I mean honestly the pigmentation for just using that concealer as my primer, I'm not bothered by it. I think the pigmentation pulled off really nice. It's kind of like a light wash of color um, I think if I did go in with my typical Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas eye base primer I think I could have really got it popping depending on what you're looking for but I think the eyeshadow was great the blush is wonderful I mean the complexion products have literally blown me away and as far as the brow products like I said I like the concept and everything I love the price of everything I just need a better color this was a great little contour I want to go back and find more of a bronzy shade because I love the way it feels it's not like a a crazy greasy waxy feel at all it's really nice it's really comfortable and the powders though these powders oh these have me so excited they are nice they're lightweight the color did not oxidize on my face it didn't change the color of anything which is something that i always run into i feel like with a lot of things but not at all um as far as these little lip thingies I don't know on that one like I said I didn't feel the burning I didn't feel the stinging and I will say my lips definitely needed hydration and it did give me that and one thing I will say is it must have plumped some and the whole reason I use a lip plumper is to plump up the little fine lines in my lips so as far as that goes I would definitely say it did do that so I, I don't know. I'm very pleased with everything that I tried out today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, if you want to check out Timu, check my description box down below. There'll be a coupon as well. And everything will be linked and listed. So um, definitely check out my other video for the haul. But everything I hauled in that video will be linked in the description box below. Anyways, friends, thank you so, so much for sticking around for watching today's video. If you liked my top, I actually did a Ritara haul. I think is how you say it. Or Ritera haul over on my other channel Hot Miss Mama Vlogs where I do curvy girl fashion over there and it's so nice and comfortable. Anywho, I'm hopping off for now. Again, thank you to my YouTube members for helping to support the channel and check out my other channels. I'm on TikTok and Instagram at Hot Miss Mama of Four and until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Mwah!